Pauline's going to come and lead me to salvation. <laughs> because your, min, your pastor needs, needs saving. <laughs> but uh, this, this is for the sake of those who were not able to join us or didn't feel it was them or, or for whatever reason you, you weren't there uh, during the last three days. This will give you a flavour of how easy it can be to share the gospel on the street in a very short space of time and see people come to salvation. Not everybody comes to salvation. You probably had as many people that didn't as we as did come to salvation. I think we one of the things that oh I ought to do the training first. I'm gonna give you the training. I need it. A potted version. This is what we're told before we go out on the street. The aim of any mission and the aim of the turning is to share the good news of Jesus Christ which we do and to pray with as many people as possible even if it's not a prayer of salvation we pray with if they let us as many people as possible because it just sows something into them that people love them and want to pray for them so even though not everybody came to salvation everybody probably apart from two or three, actually received a prayer of blessing upon them. And they heard the first part of the good news message, which we will come on to in a minute. And the aim is to encourage them to turn to God, because we're all encouraged to turn to God. To note down people's details correctly. Uh, for those who went out on mission and failed to do that bit, I'll be chasing you up because I don't have the details that we need. Um, and then to follow them up and to get to know them that's the hard part of the work is what happens after we've led them to salvation is discipling them befriending them and not straight away going and saying come to church on Sunday because we'll leave it to the church to sort them out we need to take personal responsibility uh, for these people uh, because stepping into church for the first time is a scary thing for so many people so uh, we want to befriend them and the majority of you put your hands up and said you're willing to disciple people even if you didn't go out on the street. So you will be being contacted probably with some names and say, right, it's your job to pursue these people and to lead them in their initial walk into Jesus Christ. One day they may come to church and it may be this church. But as long as they get into a church one day, but after they've been properly dis discipled, it'll be fantastic. But discipling is walking with them and showing them how it's done. It's not just giving them a load of Bible verses and leading them through a Bible study. It's showing them how to pray. And that prayer is important and prayer is exciting and prayers get answered. It's showing them how to go out and pray for other people. It's showing them how to share, their, share the gospel with other people on the street. You know, because many of us weren't trained in that, were we? I mean, it, to most of us it probably came natural. I was so just bubbling over after I met Jesus that it was the most natural thing to do. The church has killed it off in me ever since. Or well, I've killed it off in myself, one of the two. Um, and it's to lead many people to Christ, to make them true disciples, to work together with other churches, because God commands a blessing when there is unity. Uh, I, my heart has ached over St. Ives, whether we would ever get any other churches involved. Um, but when you look at the facts, there's only actually four ministers covering all the churches in St. Ives these days so the turning's expectation that we get all the churches on board is really difficult because there aren't the ministers even to, to get on board but in the end 4th Street participated ok there was only two of them but 4th Street let us use their building for starting off from William came out with us every day it was a great encouragement he was very sceptical didn't really want to do it uh, like most of you he said I'm I'm not an evangelist, I'm a witness. I'm just a witness, I'm not an evangelist. It's not my gifting. You know, and we, we, we can all hide behind a, a reason why we don't feel able to do it. But he, he, he did, bless him. And we had two ladies from St. Earth Methodist also join us. Uh, and Terry Higgins, who many of you will know, was over in Falmouth and hopes to take the turn into Plymouth. And he's pushing the St. Earth Church to get involved and the Hale Church as well. So. We will see other churches come on board. 
um, and to see the whole of this area, the whole of Cornwall is the aim to see it transformed by people knowing God. Uh, reasons why people don't share their faith. This is step, oh, three reasons. One is fear. How many of you actually before you went out? Even, even, even me, you know, it's just, it's not, it's not the easiest thing to do because we've all had the rejection at some point or other. Most of it probably came from your families when you first shared the gospel. Uh, and that's the hardest rejection to receive. But, you know, we, we live in a society today where the word to preach is a bad word because they feel as if we're moralising and forcing things upon them. But Jesus called us to go out and proclaim the gospel. He used the word preach. Yet, yeah, we sort of, we can't do that, it's not acceptable. Well, don't, that's a lie of the, the enemy. A lie of the enemy. The other reason is, most of us don't know how to do it very effectively. How many of you have started off on a conversation and then just got lost in an argument somewhere? Or a discussion about what the person really wants to talk about? Well, the, the beauty about the turning is that we don't get into discussions, arguments and conversations. We just take them through the message and lead them straight to Jesus Christ. And the other thing is, people... Oh, I've come on. Somebody's turned me on. I'm too loud now. Thank you, John. Most people are very short of time. Time is a precious commodity in today's society. Uh, so what we always do is assure them that we're not going to take up a lot of their time. Um, we use a script. I hated the word script. I thought, I can't do that. So when I went out on the streets of Falmouth, the first person I went up to, I had the script. Uh, I knew the first two lines. I started there. But praise God, the first person was a Christian, so I didn't have to stick to the script. But uh, I, I could just pray for healing with them. The next person, I thought, I just need to submit to this and see how it goes. And met a young lady, stood outside a shop, uh, started the conversation, hello, my name is Chris, what's your name? Um, can I sh just share some good news with you, God? loves you and he's got an awesome plan for your life uh, and she said are you going to keep me long because I'm on my lunch break I said no do you know what I've got this script here and they guarantee that it only takes two or three minutes can I carry on and she said yes uh, and she gave her life to Jesus there and then and I thought hey this is great I'll do it again so for, for somebody who's not led somebody to the Lord for a few weeks, uh, it's, it's just been great to have something that's made it really easy to do and uh, just avoid all those debates that sometimes you end up in that are pointless because you can't win an argument. You know, if, somebody, if somebody's not ready to be plucked off the tree, as they say, into the kingdom, if they're resistant, you're not going to get very far. But somehow God's using this to lead us to people that are ready to be plucked into the kingdom. So it's been absolutely fantastic. So I've seen, personally, I've led six people to the Lord in the last five days. Uh, it's a long time since I've ever done that. I don't think I've done that since I first became a Christian and I was bouncing around everywhere. So, you know, if I can do it, you can do it. We can all do it. Um, and the thing they, they also say is that you have to smile ridiculously. That, that was really hard. I just followed Birgit because she smiles ridiculously all the time. So, yeah, smile ridiculously. Because nobody wants to look, talk to you if you're going to say, I've got some really good news for you. Do they? No, doesn't sound like good news. Play with everyone. Don't argue, judge or condemn. In fact, they have a little phrase that even if people say some ridiculous things to you, you say, that's great. Well, William Thomas couldn't do that, particularly when they said, I'm a Satanist. He said, that's great. Well, you can't say that's great to that, can you? I think we have to use the alpha phrase 
that's interesting. <laughs> then carry on. Um, we can't force anything on anybody, so we're reliant on the Holy Spirit. And that's why we have a time of worship and being in his presence before we go out, uh, because that's so essential to being in God's presence and knowing where God's leading us. Uh, and I, I look for people that God wants me to talk to as I've been going out. Uh, on, on the Friday I was out with Birgit, who runs around and talks to everybody. <laughs> well, it seems like everybody. Uh, I, I just saw these two girls sitting on, on the harbour wall on the Friday, and I thought, well, they're two attractive young ladies. I'm a 60-plus year old man. It's not going to look very good if I just go up and talk to them. We're supposed to go in pairs, and Birgit was after somebody else, and I thought, I've got to wait for her to come back. And then she wanted to be after somebody else. I said, no, no, no. God's pointing to these two young women. So we went, went to talk to them, and we led them to salvation. And they are two Carvis Bay girls, mums of young children that go to St. Eunice School. Children that I know, coincidentally, because I go in to do collective worship, so it's just opened up a door to two to local people. And it's that persistent when you see God pointed to somebody, just say, okay, I'm going to go with it. But then I turned to the side and there were two other girls. And then we had two other girls straight away. And they gave their lives to Jesus as well. Yeah, so that, that was four within the space of three, four minutes. Uh, absolutely incredible. Don't use religious words. We never went to anybody and said, Ah, are you saved with, by the blood of the Lamb? You know, that's great for a Christian, but it's no good for them. Um, and if you have children, take them with you, because children can win, win people a lot easier than we can, because they've got no inhibitions. You know, they, they like the script. I'm going to give scripts to all the kids and get them out on the street, because they're probably more effective than me. Are. So, Paul is going to give you an example of what we've been doing, so you can see whether you might want to take a script with you and a response card and just try it out just try it out one of the things that we do is we, if, if people are willing to give their details we actually write them down on the card and if they're willing to be contacted we guarantee that somebody will come into contact with them no matter where they're from we have a database that's under the Data Protection Act well turning have a database we enter their details on and a person is assigned to do discipleship and follow up with them okay uh, so that's one of the great things. Can I just say something about the script? I was deviating, deviating off the script from different locations and speaking to people. Well, that doesn't surprise me. But <laughs> on the last one, yeah. the Lord clearly showed me something. I was walking past the bench and he said, So I went to them and I thought, I'm going to stick to that script and I'm going to do everything they say. And they embraced the whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's amazing. And they all Pauline, tell, tell us how you got on. Um, well, the, it got so gracious because the first person I went out with a, a lady that was the um, part of the wedding team, yeah. yeah. Uh, and the first person we approached was really not very nice. <laughs> so I thought, oh, well, that's great because if, if that's the first thing, then it can't, it's only got to get better from now on. <laughs> Uh, and after that, um, we approached several people, and I have to be honest, we didn't go right the way through with anybody, but that's fine too, because you're sowing seeds, all the time you're sowing seeds, and somebody else will, will water it, and somebody else will harvest it, so that's still fine, um, and we, we spoke to about six or seven people, uh, and they, nobody rebuffed us, they were all okay. Uh, and we had a couple that we called Margaret and Gerald that we prayed with. Uh, we got as far as that with them. Uh, but then they said they didn't want to go any further with that. But, but again, that's fine. It doesn't matter because it's all sowing seeds. And God will water them and, uh, when the time is right. So that was fine. Did you get over your fear in the end? Uh, yes, I think I did. <laughs> I've got to stand in front of you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be an awkward candidate this morning, so you, you, you can practice on me. This is, this is what happens on the streets. She's seen me as a willing candidate, or someone that God's pointed out, because I need saving. Hi, uh, good morning. It's a lovely morning this morning. Oh, it's isn't fantastic. It? Yeah, we've had a great week actually, yeah. haven't we? Yeah, it's been really good. God made the skies blue for all of our work. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, um, my name's Pauline. What's really? your name? I'm Chris. Oh, hiya Chris, it's really good to meet you. Um, I, I just want to tell you two really quick things. I just want to tell you that God loves you and he's got an amazing plan for your life. Really? Yeah, it's just wonderful. Before you go, I just want to ask you one other question. Hang on, I, I've not got much time yet. It won't take a minute. You sure? It just won't take a minute. Okay. If, if you, God forbid, were to die today, uh, do you know for sure, without a shadow of a doubt, that you'd go to heaven? Mm, possibly. Well, shall I tell you what the Bible says about three things it says about? You're supposed to say that's great. At least you have a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm deviating already. That's <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> the Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That, that means we've all done things that uh, were not right at some time in our lives, and we're all the same. And it says the wages of sin is death, but God gives us a free gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ. That's mm. wonderful, isn't it? A free gift. I love free gifts. You don't have to pay anything for it. He's done it all for us. And it says that whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. And you're a whosoever. Am I? And I'm a whosoever. Are you? And everyone sitting here is a whosoever as well. Do you mean they could all be saved as they well? They could all be saved. <laughs> you sure? So, yeah, that's I've got wonderful. some doubts yeah. over some of them. God, yeah. is, God is so wonderful. <laughs> so before I go, uh, would you mind if I just said a quick prayer with you? Mm, yeah, as long as it's quick. It will be quick. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Can I just put my hand on your shoulder? Is that okay? Mm. When are you going to hold my hand? No. no. <laughs> I don't like the Beatles. <laughs> You're transferring an anointing? I am. That's what we do. Transfer anointing. Lord, I pray that you'd bless Chris and his family with long and healthy life. Make yourself so real to him. And if Chris has never received Jesus Christ as his Lord and Saviour, I pray that he would do so right now. Would you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour? How do you do that? Well, you have to say a prayer along with me. Is that okay? I'll say it first and then you can say it afterwards. Okay. I'll keep it really short. Sure, okay. okay. You know I'm going to ask that question, don't you? <laughs> Jesus. You're taking too long. Can <laughs> 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 well, I read it? You yes, show oh, it? yes, sure. Sorry, sure, yeah. yeah. That's easier if you can see it too, isn't it? Yeah, so it is. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> because I, I'll forget what yeah, you say yeah, within a yeah, second. Yeah. What's your name again? Pauline. <laughs> What's my name? Chris. Oh, very good. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Come into my life and be my Lord. Doesn't say that. Come into my heart and be my Lord. <laughs> Come into my heart and be my Lord. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me. Wash me. Change me. Change me. And set me free. And set me free. Let me never be the same again. Let me never be the same again. Jesus. Jesus. I believe you died for me. I believe you died for me. Thank you that you rose from the dead. Thank you that you rose from the dead. And now pray for me from heaven. And now pray for me from heaven. Help me to live for you. Help me to live for you. And fulfill everything you've called me to do. And fulfill everything you've called me to do. I thank you that I am no, now forgiven. I thank you that I'm now forgiven. And on my way to heaven. And on my way to heaven. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You can give me a round of applause. I, I'm saying that. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, and this is the bit I never get to. So after that, if, if we've got to that point, we tell them that we've got the best news that anyone can ever tell you. If you really meant this prayer, then as a minister of the gospel of Christ Jesus, I tell you today that all your sins are forgiven right now. And you can now know for sure that you're on your way to heaven. Remember, when you make a mistake, don't run from God, run to him. 
because he loves you and he does have an amazing plan for your life. Amen. And then you and then you ask them whether they want to share their details and fe- get as much information as you can. Thank you, Pauline. Right. You can have your seat again. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> now, obviously, not everybody's going to follow on from there. Some people might wonder what on earth they've done, but that's why follow-up is quite important, just to find out whether they, they really were serious and whether they want um, people to follow them up. But... Uh, just to get them to that stage is absolutely fantastic. You share three scriptures, you've blessed them, you've loved them. And, uh, and, uh, and to be honest, most people are not going to say the prayer unless they really want to. Okay? Uh, so it's the beginning of their journey. And it's been a great privilege.